It's another pulsating weekend of action where Ghanaian players stood out everywhere. They played in Italy, in Spain, and in England. Today we have a lot packed down. Not enough time to introduce my guest, Winfo Kovina, who plays for Accra Hearts of Oak here on the tracker for the first time. <laughs> Yeah, so you're welcome. Another exciting weekend where we had the IU brothers going at each other again in the English Premier League. Some say there's only one winner, or there's only one winner when Andre comes up against Jordan. It was Andre Ayu's West Ham United that got all three points against Swansea City in the English Premier League. Both players played full throttle in that one. But what's the feeling like? Footballers coming up against brothers, Ayu and his younger brother, uh, Jordan. Uh, it's, it's a great feeling, uh, especially when you meet your own brother, yeah. uh, playing with him uh, as, uh, as an opponent. Yeah. It's a very great feeling. You just, after, especially when you are the other elderly one, you, you want to prove to him that uh, he's still a kid. And as you know, West Ham won, so I think they, they showed he's still the big boy, so yeah. Well, today you showed that he was still the bigger brother of that one. I tell you, Swansea City in need of points at this stake. Some people say that Jordan Ayu got Aston Villa relegated last season. Well, Swansea are still fighting. He's got to do something or they might go back in there. But there was a rare start for Daniel Amati, a player you know very well, all the way from his days with the entire life. Now he plays for Leicester City. After the Africa Cup of Nations, he wasn't getting a lot of games, but he played again this weekend. But Leicester lost. What did he make of his performance? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm very happy for Daniel Amati because looking from where he started and where he has gotten to think He's working hard and I'm very happy for him because uh, this, this weekend he played very well. Although the team lost, but with his effort alone, I think I think it's, it's, it's really catching up. He wasn't playing, he wasn't playing uh, before, but now everything is going on well for him and I'm very happy for him. I think he should, he should, he should just pick it up, he should put on more efforts, more work and he'll get to the top. Well, talking about efforts and more work, there was a massive scoreline in France, I tell you. Lorient, who have Ghanaian players in there, Abdul Majid Juarez and Al Hassan Wakas. Now they thrashed Lyon by four goals to one. And I tell you, in this part of the world, they would have said that game was arranged. Lyon were fourth on the league log, and Lorient were just one point away from the relegation zone. I tell you, Juarez called a worldy in out there. Goals give confidence to strikers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you're a striker and you start scoring, it boosts your, boost your morale and everything. And I'm very happy for Majid for scoring against the Lyon, not just any other team. So I think uh, he's working hard. I think they will move out from the relegation zone here. Yeah. Because he's, he's really helping the team. Things are not going on well for them, but with his effort and everything, I think he's, he's really pushing hard. And I'm happy for him again for scoring against the Lyon. What's the state of strikers? when your team is fighting for relegation and they are counting on you to get goals? Yeah, the pressure becomes too high, especially when you're a striker and you are not scoring, when the team is going down. Uh, you just have to be concentrated. Yeah. You just have to calm down and then push hard. Yeah. And you, should, you shouldn't like let the pressure be on you too, but just take it cool and then the goal be coming itself. So I'm happy for Majid, trust me. I'm very, very happy for him. And I hope they move out from the relegation zone. Well, Winfo Kovna is predicting that Lorient will survive this year in France. It's very, very congested down there. Nancy are also having a very, very tight season. We'll see who stays up. Let's go to Spain, where there was a massive game for Thomas Partey. It was Real Madrid against Atletico Madrid. I tell you, the Ghanaian was given the last 20 minutes and held his own against some of the world's best players. I tell you, Madrid have got the likes of Tony Cruz, Luka Modric, and even Casemiro. Thomas Partey played as if he was playing behind this wall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for Thomas Partey, I'm just short of words. I don't know what to talk about him. What makes him so special these days? Uh, I, I think the, the, the guy knows what he's up to. He just wants to get to the top, and I think the coach is really helping him. He's, he's just good. He's just good. And for the uh, for the 20 minutes he came on to play for Atletico Madrid, I tell you, I would say every, everyone in Ghana was impressed. We are very happy for him. You should just keep it up. Well, you, you, you guys played together from, and you started from the same version, the Ghanaian Premier League, where there are a lot of difficulties. When you see your colleagues playing with some of the world's best players, what runs through your mind? 
Uh, personally, I would say it, it's cool, it's football. And it, someone has to go before you, we, we all can go uh, together. Yeah. yeah, so I would say I'm, I'm very happy for him. Me watching him, yeah, it, it's, very, it, it's a nice feeling, trust me. A, especially when he's playing at the top level against uh, Real Madrid, they have the stars, they have everything. So I'm just happy for Thomas Party. Well, we'll see that. So elsewhere in Spain, suspended Ghana international Kelvin Presbati also scored a goal and assisted one for Hesse Rodriguez when they were very, very strong against Real Betis. Mubarak Ocasio also played for his Granada side. Well, they were beaten by Valencia by three goals to one. Let's get to Italy, where a lot of Ghanaians also were in action. Ajiman Beidou was in action. There was a goal for a free aqua in Torino. They call him the box to box midfielder. A good goal also from him. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. If, if we have, as you said, it's a box to box striker. He works very hard. And I, I don't know, I don't know, but he's just a, a good player. I wish him, I wish he could just get to, he, should get, he, he can just get to a better club. Yeah, that's what I'm praying for because he's too good. He trains hard, the physique, everything about him is, is good. And about uh, Mubarak Kukasu, they lost, but he played very well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you then, saw that game also. Yeah, I, I saw yeah. that game. He played very well, and I'm happy for him. And talking about Kevin Prince Boateng, uh, I, I don't know what to say about him because he, there was too many injuries in his career. But for him to just come back and then be playing this one, I think he have uh, let's say nine goals in in, in the league. Uh, it's impressive. So you should just keep it up. Well, talking about being impressive, Winfo Covenant has been one of the new sensations that have returned to Accra to folk, beginning to find life after a very difficult start to the season. Kobuna has played in just three games. He's got three assists already for the Rainbow Club. It's been a very, very difficult start for you, but you're beginning to play again. Yeah, yeah, it's very difficult because I've been I've been out of football for quite some time now and I'm just coming back. And God being so good, I was able to perform a little magic in my first start. Yeah. That was against the Beijing United. I was able to assist uh, in three goals and I'm very happy. I just hope I'll train hard and then work on my stamina and then know how things will go. Well, across the folk are beginning to pick light or some people will say there's light at the end of the tunnel now for across the folk. Does it look like the season where you guys can go on and win the trophy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at, looking at how everything is going in the team, I think uh, <laughs> we, we are fine. We are fine. Everything about training, everything is just going our way and we hope it will remain that way. Well, we'll see about that. I'm very grateful to have you, even though it was a very short time. But that's how we do the tracker every week. Remember, this is where you get to see the performance of Ghanaian players. You know how well your favorite Ghanaian player is doing out there. I've got to say a massive thank you to Winfo passing through for today's edition. I'm sure we'll do one again before the season comes to an end, like I always say.